Jennifer Lopez has officially fled the country. Reports are coming in fast and it all seems Lopez, to be connected Jennifer to Diddy. Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez has officially fled the country. It seems like every time the celebrity drama starts to cool down, someone comes along and throws a match into the gasoline. And this time, it's J-Lo, who has the whole world talking. She didn't just dodge the cameras or take a step back. No, J-Lo took it to another level. She fled the country, folks. We're talking buy a one-way ticket, pack your bags, and disappear kind of escape. And why? Well, all the clues point to one guy, Diddy. Is Diddy really behind her disappearing act? And what's the wild reason she had to run? The FBI is even getting in on this one, which only adds more layers to this ridiculously messy onion of a story. Let's rewind a bit and put it all together. Back in the 90s, J-Lo and Diddy were the couple. They had it all. The fame, the fancy parties, the media spotlight. You couldn't turn a corner without seeing their perfectly styled faces on the cover of some magazine. Days of deliberations, the jury now appears to be focusing on the gun possession and bribery charges against Sean Puffy Combs. This afternoon, jurors sent the judge two notes, one of which asked for a transcript of a phone message Combs left Wardell Fenderson, once his driver, now the prosecution's star witness. But like most good things, it didn't last. And boy, did it fall apart dramatically. Their breakup, fueled by the infamous 1999 nightclub incident that had Diddy walking away unscathed while Lopez's reputation got dragged through the mud, should have been the end of it. Except it wasn't. The jurors also wanted to hear a readback of testimony relating to Combs' former girlfriend, actress-singer Jennifer Lopez, who was in the Navigator when it was stopped by police. An officer testified that everyone in the SUV was ordered to put their hands on the vehicle. But Lopez walked away, saying she was going home. As she was being detained, a gun was discovered in the vehicle. At that point, a sergeant on the scene ordered everyone who was in the vehicle under arrest. Fast forward a couple of decades and the rumors just won't quit. Whispers of Diddy holding some kind of dirt over Lopez have floated around for years, leaving everyone wondering what kind of skeletons are rattling in that gilded closet. And now, recent threats, allegedly from Diddy, seem to have pushed J. Lo over the edge, straight into her private jet and out of the United States. Dramatic much? Sure. But when the FBI starts poking around, maybe it's time to take things seriously. Reports suggest that Diddy might have made some veiled threats that were serious enough for J. Lo to decide she needed to hightail it out of town. If there's one thing everyone knows about Diddy, it's that he's got friends in high places, and not just any places. Music, film, entertainment. The man's got influence, which, according to those in the know, could very well ruin someone's career. Apparently, Diddy didn't just stop at personal threats. He let it be known that he could make things uncomfortable for Lopez professionally, too. One theory that's causing quite the stir comes courtesy of Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a former Diddy associate. In early 2024, Jones filed a lawsuit against Diddy, not just accusing him of intimate misconduct, but also claiming Diddy admitted to being the mastermind behind the 1999 nightclub horrible event, you know. The one that Lopez somehow walked away from without a scratch on her record. Three people were injured that night. Diddy got off and Lopez was never even charged. The contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting. The, 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 the producer fee, pennies. And on top of that, these guys are trying to steal my publishing. I can't go for that. So I'm fighting back. He's a fighter, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to put in this fight. I got to do it for myself, my rights. But now Jones is out here, claiming there were bribes thrown around to sway the jury and keep witnesses quiet. So, yeah, the spotlight swinging back around to J-Lo, and people are wondering if this whole case might get reopened and if she might get dragged into it once again. I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love album, Off the Grid by Diddy. Um, and it's... Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. And if that wasn't messy enough, we have the late Kim Porter, Diddy's ex-wife, reportedly holding on to a treasure trove of recordings and documents, now sitting in federal custody. According to rumors, some of these recordings are linked to Diddy's infamous freak-off parties, the kind of gatherings that sound more like scenes from a risque 90s thriller than real life. J-Lo allegedly was a guest at these gatherings during her time with Diddy. And who's making these claims? None other than Lopez's first husband, Ojani Noah. 
Noah has hinted that the feds are now taking a good hard look at these parties, and he's not ruling out that they could dig up something incriminating on both Diddy and Lopez. Don't run up on me now, B. Diddy. You think Cassie got you for that money? You hit me, you're gonna be Dame Dash broke. Who you really want to be up in that thing, though? Leonardo DiCaprio. How you end up on the couch? Close your mouth. Why are you looking at me like that, ugly ass nigga? If you could bring any artist back, who would it Michael be? Jackson. You on an island stranded for 24 hours with any famous person, who would it be? Denzel Washington. Did you hear what I said? On the island. Why would you want to be on the island? I hear you, man, but you're going to have to turn into Pill Cosby if you're going to get Denzel to do... Did you just lick your lips while we talking about Denzel? That's crazy, you man. Ah! What That's the... all. We just want a little bit of peace and love. Now, it's important to note that Lopez hasn't been directly linked to any wrongdoing, but just being around during these parties has people speculating. What did she know? Was she aware of anything shady going down? Uh, Martin Lawrence. We went to the party with her. I mean... It was a matter of fact, it was a set it off party. Jada Pickett, Pippa Kapos, all of them was there. You know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, seemed like Puff and Tupac was like a couple, it seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on. And, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. It's like Biblical Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with a big old booty and shit. Nobody was gay no more. What the fuck is going on here? Diddy's legal drama is also hitting him hard where it hurts. His career, brands, and sponsors have started to cut ties. Revolt TV, yeah, they're backing away from him like he's radioactive. On top of that, more lawsuits are stacking up, mostly centered around intimate misconduct and harassment claims. And, oh, let's not forget the Department of Homeland Security's involvement. They've been raiding his homes in L.A. and Miami. The word on the street is that they found some pretty damning stuff, all of which ties back to trafficking allegations. Naturally, all of this has people looking at Diddy's old network of pals, and that includes Lopez. Her silence on the matter hasn't gone unnoticed either. It's just adding more fuel to the speculation fire. Meanwhile, J.Lo is making her best ghost impression. She's out there keeping busy with her professional life. But anytime someone brings up Diddy, she's practically Houdini. Is this all part of a carefully crafted plan to avoid getting sucked into Diddy's black hole of legal issues? Probably. Let's face it, back in the day, Diddy was a massive player in the music industry, and not always in the friendly sense. There's chatter that he wasn't above using intimidation to keep people in line, and who'd want to mess with that? So far, Lopez hasn't said a word about any of this. But her actions, or rather, her strategic lack of appearances, are speaking volumes. It seems like she's doing whatever it takes to keep from getting sucked into the drama. But in doing so, she's kind of making it more obvious. Are you getting back with Puffy in a little way? <laughs> I remember you saying yes. yes. Or, in my mind, <laughs> look it. But why now? That's the million dollar question. Maybe there's some personal vendetta bubbling over, or maybe Jennifer's been caught in the crossfire of some shady business dealings. Knowing Diddy's history with controversial deals and sketchy alliances, it's not out of the question. The entertainment industry isn't exactly known for being a bastion of morality. It's more like a minefield. And if you're on Diddy's bad side, well, good luck to you. Diddy's also got this, well, interesting reputation for hosting some of the wildest parties that Hollywood's ever seen. The kind of parties where things happen behind closed doors that are never meant to see the light of day. And over the years, whispers have turned into louder, more insistent murmurs. Celebrities like Justin Bieber have hinted that Diddy's parties weren't all just glamorous champagne-soaked nights. They were something else, something darker. If J. Lo's recent disappearance has anything to do with that, you can't help but wonder, what exactly does Diddy know? And how is he using that info? And then there's the Sue Knight factor. The former record exec and convicted felon just dropped some serious tea, claiming that he knows why Jennifer and her more recent ex, Ben Affleck, called it quits. Apparently, tape seized in an FBI raid on Diddy's place had something to do with it. Something about J. Lo's appearance in those tapes making things, well, irreparable with Ben. Who even saw that coming? Suge seems more than happy to talk about it to anyone who'll listen, and that only throws more gasoline on this already blazing fire. So where did J. Lo go? No one knows for sure, but the speculation is running wild. 
Some say she's hiding out in a secluded villa somewhere in Europe, maybe in the south of France or Italy, where privacy can actually be bought if your bank account's big enough. Others think she's sticking to familiar territory, perhaps a luxury retreat she's gone to before. Either way, she's staying well out of the limelight, and you better believe that's intentional. Not posting on social media, skipping public events, all classic moves for someone who just doesn't want to be found. It's almost like she's teasing us, keeping herself in the background just enough to make everyone wonder what's really going on. Fewer glamorous red carpet strolls, a handful of low-key family outings, and the occasional reminder that yes, she still exists. It all makes you wonder, is she backing away from the spotlight on purpose, or is this all part of a new plan to keep us guessing? In late October 2024, Lopez popped up in LA having dinner with her kids, Emmy and Max, and singer Stevie Mackey. And surprise, surprise, it was an unusually chill affair for someone who loves her share of dazzle. Sporting a baby pink dress with her hair effortlessly flowing, J-Lo had that casual, I'm just here with my family vibe, while her kids were matching in black. It was as relaxed as it gets. Nothing like her usual, camera-ready self. Just days before that, she'd uploaded a playful video on Instagram with Mackey and Jennifer Lewis encouraging fans to vote with a catchy song, a gentle nudge that she's still around and still cares about the big stuff. The one recent public event everyone did notice, though, was her appearance at the Toronto International Film Festival in September. She showed up for the premiere of her movie Unstoppable, where she plays the mother of one-legged wrestler Anthony Robles. Not just starring in it, but she also co-produced it. And, wouldn't you know, her former husband Ben Affleck was involved too. But he was notably absent at the premiere, probably sipping coffee somewhere else while Lopez owned the carpet in a daring shiny silver gown by Tamara Ralph. With velvet bows, metallic bling, and that trademark look-at-me confidence, J-Lo certainly made sure all eyes were on her, at least for that night. No Affleck, no problem. She looked like she had plenty of spotlight to go around without him. Her red carpet moment at TIFF seemed like a deliberate message. Personal drama aside, she's not about to ghost her career. She's still going to show up and do her thing, sometimes. Later, she attended the 50th anniversary celebration of the American Music Awards, but not quite as you'd expect. Instead of the usual grand arrival, she dialed it down and joined virtually, a clever way to stay in the mix without having to put on the full show. A little later in October, she also showed up at AFI Fest in Hollywood, again connected to Unstoppable. She was decked out in her signature chic style, and it was another carefully chosen public sighting. It seems like she's playing her appearances smart, focusing only on what aligns with her projects. Instead of constantly feeding the media machine, she's picking her battles, making sure her appearances have a reason and aren't just for the sake of being seen. Her sudden disappearance from social media adds more fuel to the fire. The queen of posting selfies and candid moments seems to have logged off for some downtime. Given her years in the public eye, coupled with the recent roller coaster ride of getting married again and then filing for divorce, maybe she's finally saying, enough for now. It's not like she's vanished, but the move feels calculated. Less public spectacle, more privacy. Word has it she might be lying low in Europe, somewhere where the prying eyes of the paparazzi can't follow so easily. Think cozy villa in Italy or a luxe retreat in the south of France, because where else would J-Lo escape when she needs a breather? What we're seeing is a rebranding of sorts. Gone is the constant stream of content, the endless red carpets, and the relentless hustle to stay on top of everyone's radar. Instead, she's taking a more selective approach, showing up only when it makes sense for her, not because she has to. Her outings are no longer routine, statements. It's like she's shifting from being the omnipresent pop icon to a more curated version of herself, a persona that's still glamorous but doesn't feel the need to prove it every other day. Paparazzi and fans, of course, are on high alert. The longer she stays off the radar, the more the speculation ramps up. There are theories flying around that this might not even be about Diddy entirely. Maybe there's something else going on, a secret business dispute or something more personal. 
Whatever the reason, her sudden vanishing act has got everyone's attention. Social media is buzzing like a hive of very angry bees. Fans are demanding answers, and a lot of them aren't buying the no comment approach. Why is JLo's team staying so quiet? People ask. Meanwhile, others are arguing that the silence says everything we need to know. That this is bigger than just celebrity gossip. That there are real stakes here. And it's not just the fans. Celebrities have been chiming in too, in that vague, Hollywood way that keeps you guessing. A couple of notable faces have been liking posts or making offhand comments that seem supportive of Lopez, while others, likely scared of ending up on Diddy's bad side, are staying tight-lipped. You can't really blame them. Nobody wants to poke the bear, especially one as well-connected as Diddy. The involvement of the FBI, though, is what really makes this whole thing next level. If they're digging into Diddy's finances or tracking his movements, you can bet they think there's more here than meets the eye. Diddy's influence extends beyond just the entertainment world. And if there's anything to these reports about threats and manipulation, then this story's far from over. The FBI doesn't just step in for fun. They're here because something's rotten behind all the glitz and glamour. What exactly did Diddy say or do to make J-Lo decide she needed to get out of Dodge? How far does Diddy's influence really reach? And is it enough to make even an international superstar like Lopez feel genuinely unsafe? And if Diddy really is using his power to control or intimidate others, who else might be under his thumb? As the investigation unfolds, we'll probably start to see some answers. Maybe. Or maybe this will just be another scandal that gets swept under the Hollywood rug, buried in secrecy until the next big thing comes along. Either way, you can bet everyone's going to be watching. J-Lo has always been one for a grand entrance. But now, her grand disappearance has everyone talking. Some insiders hint at her staying at a high-end retreat, the kind of place only the ultra-wealthy even know exists. Imagine a villa surrounded by high walls, expansive grounds, complete with private security teams and staff sworn to secrecy. These are not the kind of places where people just stumble upon celebrities lounging by the pool. These retreats are designed for total anonymity. Places like these are known for their discretion. Celebrities often retreat to such locations when they need to get away, either to regroup, recover, or just disappear from the public radar. Lopez, with her status and money, could easily arrange a stay at one of these exclusive places. And when the stakes are as high as they seem right now, privacy might be worth every cent. The lack of any photographs, sightings, or leaks so far suggests that wherever she is, she's paying top dollar to stay under wraps. Some rumors suggest Europe, Others say a remote spot in Central America, but the truth is, no one knows. The speculation has reached fever pitch, and without any solid information, people are left grasping at straws, trying to piece together the puzzle from whispers and guesswork. Wherever she is, J. Lo seems intent on staying hidden for as long as it takes. People have been asking why now. What was the breaking point that made J. Lo decide it was time to vanish? A few possible scenarios are floating around. The most talked about theory centers on Diddy's alleged threats and whatever dirt he might be holding over her head. If Diddy's threats were serious enough and if he really does have the power to affect her career or safety, then her decision to disappear makes sense. Sometimes when the stakes are high, flight is the safest option. Another theory gaining traction involves the FBI's investigation. Could it be that they warned her about something we don't yet know? Maybe they tipped her off to potential danger or suggested that stepping away from the spotlight would be in her best interest. The FBI doesn't usually get involved in celebrity gossip, which means that whatever's going on here is far bigger and more dangerous than the public has been led to believe. There's also speculation that a brewing business feud could have triggered her disappearance. Lopez has always been business savvy, and it's possible that she found herself caught in the crosshairs of a power struggle. In industries dominated by powerful men with deep connections, someone like Diddy could certainly make life very complicated for an ex who's trying to compete. While the fans are in an uproar, the celebrity world is being a bit more careful, understandably. Celebrities are used to navigating tricky social waters, but this is different. Diddy's influence is far-reaching, and speaking out against him could lead to real consequences. Yet, some stars have shown quiet support for Lopez. They aren't naming names, but when celebrities start liking certain posts or sharing vague quotes about standing strong and not letting others control you, people notice. Then there's the complete silence from others. Big names who you might expect to speak up for Lopez have stayed totally quiet. Some of these stars have even worked with Diddy in the past, which raises questions. Are they afraid of stepping on the wrong toes, or do they know more than they're letting on? 
Hollywood is all about alliances, and when someone like Diddy is involved, you tread carefully. Diddy has always been known as a man who gets what he wants, and this situation seems to show just how far his influence might stretch. People in the industry are talking, some in hushed tones, others not so much, about whether Diddy has a pattern of controlling or intimidating those around him. Some former collaborators have even hinted at feeling pressured or manipulated by him, but fear of retribution kept them from going public. This isn't the first time Diddy's name has come up in stories like this. Whether it's business partners, artists on his label, or people he's had personal relationships with, there's a common thread of people who felt that they couldn't truly speak out. J-Lo might be the latest in a long line of people who have found themselves in his crosshairs. And if the rumors are true, her decision to flee suggests that the stakes are higher now than ever before. Diddy's wild parties, his controlling behavior, the whispers of threats, it all points to a man who knows how to wield his power. In Hollywood, where power often means everything, it makes him someone to be feared. Forget celebrity gossip. We're now talking about a full-blown investigation that reeks of way more than just personal drama. This is about potential criminal ties, all involving big names in the entertainment world. Diddy, always the powerful and endlessly controversial mogul, has had allegations thrown at him for years. Stuff like shady finances, illegal parties, and threats made to old flames, like Lopez. It turns out that the FBI has had its eye on Diddy for years, and some new accusations have brought all of that scrutiny roaring back. Now, let's talk about those freak-off parties. If you remember the late 90s and early 2000s, these weren't just your average get-togethers. These gatherings were infamous for all kinds of wild behavior, violent intimacy, strange substances, and anything else you could imagine. They were the stuff of legend, and not in a good way. Enter J-Lo's ex-husband, Ojani Noah, who decided to spill the tea recently, claiming Lopez was right in the mix of all that. She hasn't said a word about it, but Noah's comments are bringing up all these old rumors that connect her and Diddy back during their time together. Then there's Lopez disappearing from the public eye. Her friends are dropping hints that this vanishing act has a lot to do with threats from Diddy getting way too real. The whispers suggest she's gone into hiding, maybe even skipped the country altogether, trying to get some distance from all this drama. And honestly, when someone as famous as J-Lo just suddenly goes dark, you know something big is up. The timing is way too convenient for this to be some random desire for privacy. More like the feds gave her a heads up, and she decided it was time to make an exit. But the FBI isn't just digging into freaky parties and threats. Oh no, this thing goes way deeper. There's talk of financial investigations and all kinds of shady dealings in Diddy's business empire. Looks like they're trying to connect the dots between how he made his money, who he's keeping close, and whether he's been using his wealth to intimidate people. These are the kind of complicated money moves that typically get the FBI interested, especially if they smell anything close to organized crime. Diddy's influence in the music industry is huge. He's got a lot of power over other celebs and up-and-comers. Makes you wonder if the feds think he's been using that power for more than just business. All these old scandals and rumors may be the real reason she is escaping from Diddy's new accusations. Painting a picture of someone who has always managed to stay just ahead of real trouble until now. For J-Lo, this might be about more than just keeping herself safe. It's also probably about protecting her brand, her squeaky clean image. Nobody wants to be seen as an accessory to whatever shady stuff the FBI is digging up. And now, it seems like the feds aren't just looking at Diddy. They might be ready to put other industry heavyweights under the microscope too. This is way bigger than a lover's quarrel or some celebrity breakup drama. The FBI's involvement means we're dealing with a web of influence, money, and possible criminal actions, all revolving around one of the most notorious names in showbiz. You can bet this is only the beginning. There's likely a lot more to uncover about how power works behind the scenes in Hollywood and hip-hop, how much money moves, and who calls the shots. Is J-Lo's disappearance a strategic retreat, or is there something darker at play? Let us know what you think below. Like and subscribe for more.